Good evening, it's Thursday, December 9th, 2021, and on today's hilarious headlines, we're going to be reviewing an article from Germany in which the definition of your morning commute may be a little bit different than what you thought. Stay tuned to find out what the heck we're talking about. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Hilarious Headlines. Uh, today's episode is another great, really interesting, funny, slash everything article because we're going international to Germany today to find out the new definition of what a morning commute is. Are you work from home? Have you been working from home? Has the pandemic changed the way that you approach your work? Well, take a look at this article because you may have a new definition of commute on your hands, my friends. Uh, The title of this article from The Guardian, um, Fall on Walk from Bed to Desk is a Workplace Accident, a German Court Rules. How about that? A man who slipped and broke his back while working from home was commuting. It is decided. How about that? I think that is just absolutely insane. And how does that not grab your attention, especially the way the world is now? I know I work from home, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. So let's dive right into the article here. A German court has ruled that a man who slipped while walking a few meters from his bed to his home office can claim on workplace accident insurance as he was technically commuting. Uh, The man was working from home. And on his way to his desk, one floor below his bedroom, the Federal Social Court, which oversees Social Security issues, said in his decision. While walking on the spiral staircase connecting the rooms, the unnamed man slipped and broke his back. Um, So obviously him breaking his back is not funny, but just the concept and the idea of this guy walking a few meters and breaking his back like by falling and claiming insurance, a workplace injury. I mean, come on, right? Um, The court noted, and this sounds, by the way, I'm an American, right? I'm here in Frisco, Texas, and the United States, I mean, we're we're the leaders. We're Sue Happy individuals, right? Uh, We're famously, you know, that McDonald's story, the lady spilled hot coffee on her and sued McDonald's, I think it was, because there was no warning that the coffee was hot. I mean, we sue over everything in this country. So it sounds like this should be an article coming from the United States, but it's not. It's coming from Germany. So Germany, I'm proud of you. Way to follow in our footsteps here. Just sue the hell out of everybody. Uh, Here we go. All right. So uh, the court noted that the employee usually started working in his home office, quote, immediately without having breakfast beforehand, unquote, but did not explain why that was relevant to the case. However, later, it said that statutory accident insurance was only afforded to the first journey to work, suggesting that a trip on the way to get breakfast after already being in the home office could be rejected. So there we go. There's a little caveat and nuance. Can you imagine being a judge in this case and like, having to decide I'd be like you're at home bro just relax like this is a non sequitur like what are you talking about non starter not non sequitur I try to use a fancy word and it blew up in my face uh, the employer's insurance refused to cover the claim while two lower courts disagreed on whether the short trip was a commute the higher federal social court said it had found that the first morning journey from bed to the home office was an insured work route what if you fast? A lot of people are into the fasting game, right? If you don't wake up and eat, let's move forward here with this. This is ridiculous. It ruled, quote, the plaintiff suffered an accident at work when he fell on the way to his home office in the morning, unquote. In many countries, firms have a duty of care to their employees regardless of where they work. The German federal court said, If the insured activity is carried out in the household of the insured person or at another location, 
insurance cover is provided to the same extent as when the activity is carried out at the company premises. Unquote. If that isn't the most insurance legal jargon I've ever heard in my entire life, I don't know what is. Uh, it is not clear if the man was working from home due to the pandemic or had done so previously. The ruling said the law applied to, quote, teleworking positions, unquote, which are computer workstations that are permanently set up by the employer in the private area of the employees. I'll tell you what, that is a very ticky-tack, legal jargon, insurance talk type of sentence right there. And I'll tell you why, because I worked in insurance. I worked in property sales for a major insurance company for three years. And I remember when I worked for them, and it's kind of an irony to say this, but they would say never speak in definitives, which ne never is obviously a definitive, but neither here nor there. They just told you to speak in ambiguities all the time. And like, I mean, I'm gonna read this last sentence again, second to last sentence again. If the insured activity is carried out in the household of the insured person or at another location, insurance cover is provided to the same extent as when the activity is carried out at the company premises. That's pretty wishy-washy, because they put that or in there, or at another location. What if I was doing it in a volcano, right? What if I was doing it on the wing of an airplane uh, like what, while it was in the air? You know what I mean? Like, what is another location? I just think the premise of this situation is just absolutely in frickin' sane. How the heck can you, like... The insurance company is, I, I just don't get it. It's crazy to me. Like, you're at home. Like, yes, you're working, but, like, it's not like they're making you, like, replace your chimney or, I don't know, like, doing some kind of crazy physical, physical labor. This dude was literally just walking and fell down the stairs. Like, what does work have to do with that? I just think that is an absolutely insane situation. And, I mean, the for the German court, to rule in office of, or to rule in favor of the insurance company, that's very not American. Because in America, they're all in bed with each other. You know that. You watch TV and you see all the commercials and they're all intertwined with the big companies or with the government. Not in Germany, baby. No. You pay insurance companies. Um, that is, I think that is just a wild story, man. Just an absolutely wild story. So, uh, that's it for today, December 9th. Uh, I thought that was just a really interesting article. And I thought it was relevant to many of you. You know, maybe we should bring that to the United States. Let's all just start falling all over the place in our homes and just sue the bejesus out of uh, the insurance companies. Let's go, you know? Um, that's, uh, that's pretty ridiculous. So thanks for watching again. I really appreciate it. My goal is to just bring lighthearted, kind of funny news to you. Uh, in the age of, you know, everyone just bickering and yelling at each other. And I thought this would be a fun way. Just have a little laugh. You know, <laughs> unfortunately, it's someone else's expense in this one. But um, just find the lighter side of the news. And uh, I do these Monday through Friday um, from Frisco, Texas, like I said. So if you like these, subscribe. Share it with your friends. Comment. You know, if you got any opinions on this, I'd love to hear it. You know, tell me what you think. I love feedback. And um, that's about it. So we'll see you tomorrow for Friday's edition of Hilarious Headlines. We're going to find another good one and end the week on a high note. So see you then.